Hello, Mr. Cadbury Punch Queen here with brand new content and an exciting new video. Shut, Shut the fuck up, fuck up, you cunt! Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can dump textures to create high res textures for the Nintendo 64 using or the emulator using Android and just so you know I am using a 32-bit system here so if that helps out you people uh, so what you're gonna have to do is download an emulator called Moopin 64 plus FC now I'll it's not the one that's on the Play Store so don't use that one and I think I tried to get it from an official website that claimed it was official, but it's, it didn't work. So I'll provide a link to this particular version. I'm not too sure what actual version it is. But what you want to do is install this um, emulator. The first thing you're going to want to do is up in the left-hand corner here with those three, three line things, you're going to want to go to Profiles and select Profiles. And you'll see the top one says emulation profile. Now what you want to do is it's most likely going to be set to Glide 64. Go down the list to you see Rice Accurate. And I believe you can use Rice Fast as well. And select Rice Accurate and OK that. And then what you want to do is up in the top right hand corner where mine is currently saying refresh ROMs, you might have a little icon, sort of a circly whirly thing or something like that. That's where you select to choose the ROM path. And of course, you're going to need a ROM. Now, don't ask me where to get the ROMs. Um, Google is your friend. We have the technology and I don't need to hold your hand through that part. Now the first thing you, so next thing you have to do is actually click on the game to open it. And we're going to click on start. And whatever game you're using, it's okay. Don't worry about the game I'm using. Now what you want to do is just, just get in. Are the you game ready later. for some down and dirty racing? No, I'm down for your down and dirty mum. Now... <laughs> Now, just get into the game. Alright, that's about all you need to do. Now we're going to click back and exit. Okay, now, why we did that was just to create the file that we're going to go to now. So, now we're going to minimize. Now, you're going to need a file explorer of some type. I use File Explorer ES, and don't try giving me any shit saying there's all these Trojans and shit in it. I don't use the... Uh, Play Store version. I use a modded version that's been cleaned up. You can use anything you want as long as it can actually read into your files. Otherwise, if you try going into with the regular Samsung uh, thing, once you go to internal storage, you'll find that when you try and go into Android data, it doesn't let you do anything. So that's why you need the ES Explorer or some sort of Explorer or whatever. All right, so we'll get out of that. Now, uh, in internal storage, now we're going to go down to the Moopin 64 plus dash FC folder. Now, there's going to be a couple of things that are in here, uh, but what we need to do is go into game data. And as you can see, it's created a folder here for the game I was just playing. Yours is not going to say that because that's what here stands for monster truck madness 64 whatever game you've loaded up and you wanted to edit go into this folder now you're going to see core config the second folder here open that one and you're going to see moopin 64 plus doc cfg the configuration file uh click on it and hopefully you'll have something that can open this up uh you, all you need is any kind of text editor if you already have es explorer the note editor will work fine now, once this is open, scroll straight down to the bottom here. And all right, so once you're in this section here, this is called the Rice plugin section. All right, so it says Video Rice. What you want to do is find the one that says dump textures to files. What you want to do is click on edit. If you don't have to do that. All right, now get your keyboard up. 
and it's a bit hard to see in there but um, it's because I'm using landscape you don't have to use this way all right so you can see I've just deleted false now capital T and then lowercase r u e okay so you can you're changing that that says dump textures to files true click save okay now what that's done is it's turned the dump textures on so when you load up that game again it's going to be dumping all the textures that you are currently seeing now once we go back into the game so don't go to resume if you're using this emulator you have to restart it again so we're restarting the game and we're going back in here now once this game loading up all right we can start clicking away now you'll notice it goes a little bit slower that's because it's it's dumping all the images that are coming up that it's loading all right so, and you'll notice the audio is a bit stuck as well So, now for a game that's like this one, what you have to actually get to the textures that you want to edit. So, if you're in a menu like this, you can actually just keep on. See, what that would do right now is it's, it's already dumped all my big stuff, and I've already changed it from the HD graphics. But if you were going to go to the next track, that will now start downloading, uh, dumping all the textures to this truck. And of course, you can So, if you're using games where you have multiple characters, you know, something like WS No Mercy or whatever, go to that particular character and maybe even spin around it if you've got cameras in and everything. Just to make sure you've got all the uh, If you want to do backgrounds and all that sort of thing, go into the game. You've got to actually see the, the background itself in the game before you can actually change those sort of things. Um, yeah, so once you're done with that, exit out of the game again, okay, and then we'll go back to the folder, the core config, Lupin64 config, and we will change that back to where we were down the bottom, you can also go to find and replace uh, so what we want is dump and it should find that right, search uh, again the next one all right so texture jumping is still on true so we want to turn that off now so that when we go back in there it's not it doesn't keep dumping the textures so I uh, can't see anything because these stupid things uh, move all right so yep <sighs> shit didn't I'm only in landscape because of this video, so, uh, yeah, that's all good, false, save, alright, so, now, where to get the folders, this is where everyone else's videos kind of pissed me off, because they never really explained where these things are, so, in the, your directories, go back to your Moopin64 folder, now, the first folder you see is called Core Config. go into that one, and you're going to see User Data, and then you're going to see Moopin64+, Plus. And you're going to have these two files, high res texture and texture jump dump. Now, texture dump is where it's dumped all the files that we just got. So, once you go in there, you're going to see it's got the folder with the game you just played. Go in there. Now, this is where things all used to give me the shits because no one really explained all this. The CI, BMP, CI, blah, 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 the first three of them. Sorry, it's CI by PNG is the one you want to go in the third folder. So you can pretty much delete all the other folders. Uh, with a PNG, all is where you'll find some background images. See over PNG. This is where you'll find where it's it's uh, downloaded things. Now, it downloads things kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. So you're gonna have to know what exactly what exactly the files are you want. So as you can see, this thing here that that'd be a truck tire. Uh, this one is obviously the back of Bigfoot. Uh, these things you. It's probably hard to figure out, but that's actually the under chassis of the monster trucks. Um, things like that. So, files like these ones, um, 
it's just some sort of data t data dump. You you don't have to worry about them. Basically, you just want to put the 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 images that you can see that you know are a part of what you want to what you actually want to dump. And sometimes they can be pretty uh, hard to see because you're going to have to figure out how these things work and sometimes the images are reversed and whatever, but you, you can figure all that crap out on your own. All right, so now that you've got all of them, once you've actually made the high-res textures, you stick them in the folder that's next to Texture Dump called High-Res Textures. You can name the file... The, the, you can name the file of the game you've got and you can individually name uh, whatever part you want and it doesn't matter how many folders you've got in these things so I made Bigfoot I've uh, made those files and they actually replaced the original game with, with high res textures for a new Bigfoot now how do you actually edit these photos on on Android all right, I will show you how to do that. Now, uh, we'll get out of all the emulators and things. And we'll open up our browser. Now, what you want to do is go to photo... P I don't know if it's actually photop.com or photopia.com or what, how you actually say that. But it is a... It's basically a free version of Photoshop online, so it works through your web browser. Uh, Alright, so now the only problem with this thing is you have to scroll, and I can't actually use this in landscape mode. Uh, sorry, you're going to have to tilt your head sideways. Alright, so uh, what you do is you can either start projects, templates, whatever. I usually just go open from computer. Alright, so... You'll choose your file, and uh, do I even have any of them left in here? Uh, where did I put them? Um, right, so you'll have to locate them wherever you've put them on your your um your thingy. But uh, you can see, right? So now that I I, I took all my pieces that I was using to edit and I've stuck them in individual folders so I've just gone into where I've put these folders so that's not actually an original file that's an edited one so let's say we go into boogie van okay now uh what this is is the front bonnet or or um hood of the hood of the car now the images are pretty small to make these things high high definition or better quality click on image and go to image size okay now what you want to do is change from pixels to percent and make these things 400 percent bigger uh, all you gotta do is click in height and that should change for to 400 as well and click ok okay now we can actually sort of see what we're doing all right so you can zoom in with two fingers now that's the as I said, that's the bottom of the car. It's up to you what you put over there. Um, you know, you could, you could just find a higher resolution image and paste it over it, create a new one, whatever you want to do. Uh, or you can just completely change it all together, put, a, put whatever image you want on there. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to use Photoshop or Photopia or Photo Photopia or whatever, however you say this thing. That's... Um, yeah, there's plenty of tutorials for that sort of shit online. Um, yeah, so that's how you go with that. And then what you want to do is go, once you've done it, go to File and go to Export As and keep it as a PNG file. Now, the thing that stuffs up a lot in these things is... Um, uh, get out of here. Fuck off. Go away is when you're going to change the files, you need to make sure that they're exactly the same as they were when you dumped them. So, uh, oh, I don't have them in there. Um, so when you actually download them from Photopea, you've got to make sure that that link, uh, that, sorry, the uh, file name, hasn't added a one in brackets or, or two or whatever to the end of it. You've got to make sure that, uh, shit, this is not what I want to be in. 
you know, Blackstone. Okay, so these things are actually individually named the actual file name. So when you go to rename, see how it's got all this crap there. Do not change that. It has to be that exactly. And on the end there, make sure it's still a PNG file. Um, sometimes when you download them from, once you save a file from Photo, Photopea or whatever, it can do this sort of looking thing where it's added that. That's because there's, it's, it's a duplicate file and it doesn't create over the files. All right, so make sure that if you save the file and it looks like that, make sure you go into rename the file and just get rid of all that crap and make sure everything's perfect and click done. And then all you've got to do is take that file, cut it or copy it or whatever, and go and put that in the high res text file. You can put it in whatever folder or, or whatever you're in, but it has to go into that high res text folder. Um, now, if you're using a different emulator, um, you're gonna have to figure out where the high res textures go. Sometimes it doesn't automatically create high res texture folder. It could, um, could, you may need to create those uh, high res text folder and the, and the texture dump folder or whatever. Uh, figure out all that shit with your own emulator. And um, yeah, so that's how you edit shit on Android. As for then, uh, I've got to go now because I am parked in a handicapped space with skis on the roof. And as usual, do not subscribe. Do not click that icon, that, that bell icon. And if you do, I'm going to come around to your house and I'm going to fuck your mother. My apologies to anybody whose mother is deceased, but don't put it past me.